Okay, so we're going to set out to make a body and we're gonna make a B. It's gonna be an abstract B. Um, so, you know, have some fun with it. It doesn't have to end up being a B, it can be whatever you want. So the idea here is we wanna keep this super simple, all right? So we're gonna start out with a box. Again, we're doing box modeling. I'm on the Sudak tab. I'm gonna go unit box, sub patch, subdivide, metaform, okay. All right, so it looks pretty good. I'm gonna stop here for a sec. Um, when I work, there's a few things you want to think about. Um, perspective window, top window, back window, and the, and the right or side view, okay? So when we make our B, we want it to face forward, all right? And forward is the plus Z axis. So if you look in your right window and you look really carefully, you'll see a plus Z. Uh, I want to make a mouth or some type of cavity on this object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this window here. I'm going to select the area where I think the mouth should be. Um, I'm gonna select four polygons because I know that if I stay with fours and I smooth shift, I'll get a nice loop. And the idea here is we wanna keep this really simple, but we wanna be able to animate it and we might do some facial expression. So we're trying to make a mouth and we're gonna try to create a series of loops to be able to, to make that mouth. All right, so the tools, we're pretty much gonna use smooth shift and stretch, but I'll be jumping back and forth between a few different windows, okay? And I'll explain that as I go. All right, so let's smooth shift, shift F. Click once, you're gonna see uh, new geometry was created. It also created an additional loop, all right? So with that made, I'm gonna to jump to stretch. I'm gonna put my cursor in the back window and just kind of click and drag. Notice at the bottom of my screen, my mode is action center selection. So I'll go back and forth between mouse and selection, but for right now it's at, it's at selection. So a lot of stretching. So I stretch this a little smaller I pop up to the front of my object in the right hand window and I'm gonna click and drag and you're gonna see it's gonna flatten out that geometry. All right, looks pretty good. So I need some more um, points or vertices. So I'm gonna smooth shift again. I'm gonna click, release, H to stretch. I'm gonna stretch that a little bit smaller and then I'm gonna pull it a little bit flatter in this window and eventually I'll start to move this back. I'm not pulling it back super far, okay? Don't pull it back too far. Look at the distance of your squares, all right? Stay consistent. Don't make really long rectangles. Try to keep things square, all right? So I'll pull it back a little bit, but not a lot. And then I'm gonna smooth shift again, click, T to move, and move that back. And I'll smooth shift again, T to move, move it back. And this will be the inside of my mouth, so I don't need to spend a ton of time here. I just, I want something so I can put teeth, maybe a tongue inside of this. And uh, that's pretty good. So if I look at this, it doesn't look much like a, like a mouth, um, but that's okay, it will. So I'm gonna take a look in the perspective window and think about this for a minute. So this is the front of my object. Um, I need the corners of this thing's mouth to come back. So I have symmetry mode on, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit my space bar to get into edge view. And you can see I selected like these edges right here. And what I'm gonna do with those edges selected is I'm gonna hit T to move, and I'm gonna move this back a little bit. All right, so it looks pretty good. So you can see here, you know, if you use your imagination, this could definitely be a mouth, all right? Um, I think for this guy, I'm gonna do one more thing. Uh, I'm gonna take this loop right here, and I think I'm gonna smooth shift it one time and then stretch it. So smooth shift, click, whoops. If you click and drag, sometimes it gives you that little error, so make sure you click and release. And then I'm gonna jump to stretch, and I'm gonna stretch this smaller, and maybe pull it out a little bit. Um, okay, so this is fine. I have a little mouth coming out. I might move it. Um, from here, this is, this is pretty good for a base shape. Uh, you'll definitely wanna spend some time with this, and you know maybe take your drag tool or control T and start mm -hmm. dragging maybe some of these points around um, to make this form a little bit better. But for now, uh, this looks pretty good. I can use my imagination here and this could be um, some type of body bee creature, all right? And you can always go back and tweak, all right? <clears throat> and edit this, but for now, I think I'm gonna call it a day. And uh, I'm gonna make another body just, just using a different method. So, so far that's pretty good. Uh, I'll make another layer, and this time I will, same concept, I, I'll start in the Sudak tab, I'll make a unit box, I'll subpatch it, I'll subdivide, metaform, okay. 
So decision time, you know, where do I want the face to be or the mouth to be? And in this case, I'm gonna make this character um, out of like a pill shape. So I'll select the top half of this, smooth shift, T to move, move this up. Um, and again, smooth shift one more time, T to move. So a lot of this is just trial and error, all right? We are using our imagination. I uh, didn't do a lot of planning here. If I was to do this for real, I would definitely draw it and, and do a little more planning, but um, right now we're just kind of experimenting. Uh, all right, so mouth. I want it to face a positive Z, and those four would be a good place for mouth, but I think this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna play here, and I'm gonna actually select all these polygons here. So I have about eight polygons, but again, you know, four plus four, yeah, eight. So that's still a pretty good number. So I'll smooth shift, I'll click, and you're gonna see, ah, a new loop, great. So what do I do with this loop? Um, I'm going to stretch it. So H to stretch, stretch it a little bit smaller, and I'm in the back window when I do this. Then I'm gonna come back into my right window and I'm gonna stretch it flat. Looks pretty good. Again, I formed a little loop there, and I'm gonna stop because I wanna make sure that I have enough vertices here to hold that form. So next, I'm gonna smooth shift one more time, click release. H to stretch, I'm gonna stretch this back a little bit, stretch a little bit smaller, and I'm gonna start moving this back, and we're gonna form an inside of our mouth here, so it looks pretty good. Um, I might even smooth shift it one more time, and just T to move, and just move this back. Looks pretty good, and again, I don't wanna to go too far, um, so I'm stretching to try to make squares instead of rectangles. Looks nice. Uh, next, I'm gonna deselect these polygons on the side, and I'm just gonna make a throat cavity. So smooth shift, stretch, and stretch. So when I go to the back window, you know, I'm changing the radius a little bit smaller. When I come to the side view or the right window, I'm flattening out that form, and all with the stretch tool. I'm gonna move that back a little bit, and then I'm gonna smooth shift, click, T to move, move it back a little bit, smooth shift, click, T to move, move it back a little bit. Uh, might even rotate it and move it back a little bit. So I can go and add, obviously add a lot more detail here, but I think I'm just gonna stop there. I can always add more later. I'm gonna spacebar to drop my tool and deselect. So this looks pretty fun. Um, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna go ahead and add another loop here. So select in the direction, hit your right arrow, and then smooth shift, click release, H to stretch, and then I'm just gonna stretch this down pull it forward a little bit. Um, it looks a little bit too thin. Uh, actually maybe, maybe not, it's not too bad. But what I am gonna do is this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump over to my tools and I'm gonna use the inflate tool. And that will just kind of puff this full of air. So inflate, click and drag, and it's gonna puff it up a little bit. And I'm gonna stop, I think right here. Looks pretty good. Uh, deselect, look in the perspective window. And again, like this doesn't look like anything right now. Um, but we put some teeth in it, add some eyes, use our imagination a little bit. This should look pretty cool. Uh, I am gonna maybe just grab these edges here in the corner and just, just pull them back, okay, like this. And this, this is fine. This will be um, an interesting looking object. All right, so the next thing we'll do is we'll start adding some other parts to this and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll tweak it a little bit, but hopefully we'll have some type of bee that we can we can animate